today to reclaim this space for Palestinian art and culture. The Barbican have been complicit in censoring and silencing the voices of Palestinians and pro-Palestinian allies. Organisers of a talk about Gaza had to find a new venue at short notice after cancellation by the Barbican. Shame! A Palestinian radio producer was warned not to mention Palestine. Shame! This censorship aids the attempted erasure of Palestinian culture now occurring alongside the genocide committed by the Israeli army. Arts institutions which boast of anti-racism want to remain neutral. Neutrality has become the acceptable mask of liberal racism and our arts institutions are falling for that. It is not controversial to stand up in the face of a genocide. Thank you. We demand one, full transparency over the decision-making process that resulted in the censorship of Radio Al Hada and Pankaj Mishra with an independently conducted investigation. <laughs> Number two, we demand the Barbican platforms Palestinian artists and writers without the threat of censorship. <laughs> Number three, we demand the issue of anti Palestinian racism is embedded within the Barbican's EDI strategy and action plan and anti-racism action plan, and that these are rolled out to all staff members and board of trustees. Number four, we demand the Barbican issues a public apology in the form of a press release for the censorship of Palestinian and pro-Palestinian voices. Culture workers against genocide demand an immediate and permanent ceasefire, the urgent delivery of humanitarian aid, and an end to the censorship of Palestinian artists and their allies. We call for the full participation in ongoing boycott campaigns within the culture sector in response to the 2004 call from the Palestinian campaign for the academic and cultural boycott of Israel. Apparently they're quite happy to let you guys crack on. I've got no intention of doing it. If this is what you're doing, this is just a, I've, had some good I've got, no, I've got no problem at all. I was privileged to have been commissioned to write a play called And Here I Am about the life of Palestinian actor and director Ahmed Tobasi and performed by him. The play was recently cancelled by the suburb of Paris in Singapore. Ahmed Tubasi is also not allowed in the United States, so the play has not been performed there. Ahmed was born in Jenin in the West Bank. He gets caught up in the Second Intifada as a young man, is imprisoned in an Israeli jail, and then released and finds his calling as an actor. Giuliano Mirkamis, the founder of the Freedom Theatre, teaches Ahmed the value of resisting through art and was later murdered outside the theatre. Despite the numerous attacks on the theater by Israeli forces, the theater keeps going. And it was recently nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. On the 13th of December, the Israeli army attacked and ransacked the Freedom Theater in Janine refugee camp. The army then went to the homes of artistic director Ahmed Tobasi and producer Mustafa Sheta, where they were blindfolded, handcuffed, and taken away. That evening, the army went to the home of actor and poet Jamal Abu Joas, severely beat him, also taking him. Ahmed Tabassi was released the next day and Jamal Abu Jawaf was released after eight days. Mustafa Sheta remains in prison, held without trial or charge. I woke up to the sound of an explosion at the entrance to the main door of the house. I was surprised that the army had surrounded and entered our homes. I didn't know what was going on. I found a soldier in front of me and he pointed his weapon as he took me to the sitting room. My family were already there in a state of tension. My father was still in his bedroom, putting on his clothes because he knew they had come to take him. They put my father against the wall, tied his hands behind him and filmed him with their devices. As they started to leave, my little brother cried out, where are you taking my father? He was screaming and the soldier went to hit him. They told us to stay inside the house and not move. Then they left taking my father with them. My father, the most precious person in my life, and my friend. I cannot be without him. 
The war opened up with bombing, like rain. We came running out of school in fear, and we found the whole world running in the streets. People were looking for their sons and sisters and mothers. Everyone was running with their heads raised to the sky. Honestly, they looked strange. I saw one of them from a distance, wearing pyjamas, barefoot and running. When I first saw her, I didn't recognize her, but when I got close to her, wow, that's my uncle's wife, the sheep one who doesn't leave the house without looking top notch. Then I was sure the war had started. Many Palestinian artists and writers have been murdered by the Israeli army. Poet Shahda al Fufahan was killed alongside his six-year-old granddaughter. Poet, writer and professor Rifat al rir was targeted and assassinated by the Israeli army. Poet and novelist Hebu Abu Nada was killed alongside her son. Yesterday, a star said to the little light in my heart, we are not just transients passing. Do not die. Beneath this glow, some wanderers go on walking. You were first created out of love, so carry nothing but love to those who are trembling. One day, all gardens sprouted from our names, from what remained of hearts yearning. And since it came of age, this ancient language has taught us how to heal others with our longing, how to be a heavenly sense, to relax their tightening lungs, a welcome sigh, a gasp of oxygen. Softly, we pass over wounds like purposeful ghouls, a hint of relief, an aspirin. Oh, little light in me, don't die, even if all the galaxies of the world close in. Oh, little light in me, say, enter my heart in peace. All of you, come in. To write poems without politics. To write poems without politics. I must hear the birds. I must hear the birds. And to hear the birds. And to hear the birds. created in solidarity with Palestine. Peace. We came together as we grew increasingly embarrassed and shocked by the Barbican silence. The Barbican have several development programs for young artists like me, but our classroom is tainted. This institution has blood on its hands. You have gone against your words, you have repressed your own artists, all the while staging shows on the love of sisterhood, family, of our Earth's wonders, exhibitions championing indigenous people at the very forefront of the climate crisis, battling the horrors of imperialism. BCSP have written a statement demanding the Barb can publicly call for an immediate ceasefire and commit to the processes of decolonization within the institution. This has been signed by over 100 people and counting, including featured Barbican artists, past and present. Join us, read our full statement and list of demands. I have often wondered about the censorship of Palestinian artists' work that might take place behind closed doors as part of opaque decision-making processes in arts institutions. But then I've told myself not to be paranoid. Such things don't happen in the UK. However, in the aftermath of the horrors of the 7th of October and the ongoing Palestinian Nakba and genocide, I have a completely new perspective on the censorship of work by Palestinian artists and of work about Palestine. I am deeply concerned about the change in attitude to one where unabashed and direct censorship of such work is deemed to be acceptable. It is not acceptable. Palestinians deserve the right to freedoms of creative expression and cultural resistance and I urge everyone who works in institutions to examine their own bias and prejudice and challenge it wherever they find it. Freedom of creative expression is a human right. I run a youth theatre company and uh, we were threatened by individuals to go to places to remove our funding, which is to bring culture and theatre to young children from low family economic backgrounds. We got an apology from the institution that cancelled us they are now going to have Arabs and Muslims on their board.
will continue to apply the pressure until Palestine is free from the river to the sea. I said from the river to the sea! Palestine!